Hey everyone, Dana here. My decision to, or our decision, me and Stefan, our decision to make these little language videos on Thursday came from a few different things. One, if you don't know by now, I'm really interested in languages and I love talking about languages. Yeah, that's the first thing. And I've also gotten a lot of feedback from people saying that they use my videos to help improve their English, which by the way, I have created subtitles for lots of my videos. Not all of them, but lots of them. And you can turn on the subtitles using the CC button. But I've also heard from people, some people saying that they're learning German or moving to Germany and that my videos have been helpful for that, which is so awesome. Thank you so much for this kind of feedback. It really means a lot to me to hear that my videos are helpful. Yeah. Und wie ist der erste Tag des Umzugs gelaufen? Ehrlich gesagt, am Anfang ist alles nicht so toll gelaufen. Ich hatte ein Klemmbrett mit einer Liste drauf, auf dem alles, was ich jeden Tag machen wollte, stand. Aber nach drei Stunden habe ich gemerkt, so funktioniert es nicht. Also ist die Liste aus dem Fenster gegangen und dann ist alles viel, viel besser gelaufen. Aus dem Fenster? Gegangen? Mit dem ganzen Klemmbrett? Wait, what? Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> I recently made the mistake of trying to use the English idiom to go out the window, translated directly into German, and I quickly learned from the confused face of the person I was talking to that that makes zero sense in German. In English, you can use to go out the window like this. My New Year's resolution was to drink less coffee, but as soon as I got my new job, it went right out the window. Or like this. I've always been kind of nervous around dogs, but when I saw that cute as a button photo of her, my nervousness went right out the window. You, got, you gotta do that hand flick right out the window. That's not part of it. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I just, I just like to do that. Okay. So yeah, how would you say this in German? Is, is there an idiom or what? This is where it gets a little challenging. <laughs> sometimes we're in luck. Uh, sometimes there's an idiom in German and English that really match each other. Like aus einer Mücke einen Elefanten machen for the English to make a mountain out of a molehill. But that's not always the case. Sometimes an idiom exists in German that simply doesn't exist at all in English or, you know, the other way around. Or especially because in some cases a particular idiom could mean one thing in one scenario or context but could be used to mean something slightly or maybe even very different in another scenario or context. It can sometimes be hard to say this German idiom is an exact same match to this English idiom and vice versa. All of that is to say the closest that I've come to a German idiom that fits to go out the window is überbord werfen. Literally, to throw overboard. Er hat nach nur zwei Tagen die Pläne schon überbord geworfen. And apparently I do it in German too. Überbord geworfen. Do you think this is a good translation for to go out the window? Let me know down in the comments. But you definitely shouldn't say aus dem Fenster gehen. Definitely not that. <laughs> so my question for you is, okay, aus dem Fenster gehen is not a German idiom. But are there any German idioms about windows? If so, how are they used? Or are there any German sayings about going out of something? So like, aus dem hmm gehen. Yeah, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that like button, and click the little bell icon. Ding, 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 it's down there. So you don't miss any of my new videos on Mondays or Thursdays. Because who knows what I'll be talking about next? You know, apparently last Thursday it was buttons and hot ones at that, and now it's windows, and yeah. If you enjoy these language videos, it would also be really cool if you think about passing them along to your friends, sharing them. Thank you so much for your support of my channel. And I think that's it. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.